I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on coordinate geometry. We need to find missing coordinates. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting this request. The question here is, A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Point B is 210, D is 62, A lies on x-axis. Find the coordinates of point C, right? So we have B and D, which is diagonally placed, and A and C is also diagonal. So the diagram could be drawn kind of like this. It's a rhombus, right? So, so let's say diagram is kind of like this. Just an approximate diagram. So what we are saying here is that B, this point B, is 210. And so if I take this as B, uh, uh, D is 62. So D is opposite to it, which is uh, 62. A is on the x-axis. So let's take this as A. On the x-axis means y coordinate is 0, right? So let me call this as A0. And then we have a point C here, A, B, C, D. Let's call this as X, Y. Okay? Now the idea is to find coordinates of point C. Perfect. Now, when we are saying it's a rhombus, that means uh, all the sides are equal, correct? To find the coordinates of A, we can use the concept that AB is equal to AD, the length, right? So, so we know that the length of A to B is equal to the length from A to D. So that should give us coordinates of A. Length is, uh, you know, the formula, distance formula, which is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So that formula can be used. We could actually square and then compare also. So no need to square root, okay. So, so we'll say that the length squares are also equal, correct? That's the whole, that's better. So A to B length will be 10 minus 0, which is 10 square, plus 2 minus A whole square is equal to A to D, which is 2 minus 0, which is 2 square minus 6 minus A whole square. So we get this. So we are equating these two lengths, square of these, these two lengths, right. Now to solve this, easiest method will be, we'll use difference of square. See how? We have 10 square, which is 100, minus, let's bring 2 square here, which is 4, equals 2. Uh, well, uh, this is plus, not minus. A, plus right so we have 6 minus a whole square minus 2 minus a whole square correct so we just rearranged took 2 minus a to the right side and 2 square to the left side 100 minus 4 is 96 and here we have difference of square now here's a very important formula which you should remember if we have a you know capital a square minus b square we could factor this as a plus b times a minus b. Okay? So instead of expanding and simplifying, I'll actually factor, factor and then find. Okay, it'll be simpler for us. So what we get here is uh, six minus a whole square minus two minus a whole square, uh, or we could just uh, expand it also. But factoring is better. So I'll adopt this factoring technique. So a plus b means 6 minus a plus 2 minus a times a minus b means 6 minus a minus 2 plus a. Okay. So that is what it is. So we can say 96 equals 2. 6 minus a minus is minus 2a. 6 plus 2 is 8. We get 8 minus 2a. Here we get 6 minus 2 as 4 and minus a plus a is 0. So we get just 4. 
So we can write this as 96 divided by 4 equals to 8 minus 2a. 96 divided by 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 24, right? So now we can solve for 2a equals to 8 minus 24. So that gives us a as equal to 8 minus 24 is minus 16. So minus 16 by 2, which is minus 8. So we get the value of a as minus 8. So the coordinates for a are minus 8, 0. Clear? So we got coordinates of a. Now we need to find coordinates of c. Now we could use the concept of slope. Since the slope is right, these two are parallel lines, correct? So we know the slope of, from A to B is same as slope from D to C. Slope from A to B is 10 minus 0, right? So which is 10 minus 0. And the Y values and X values as 2 minus A, which is minus 8. So 2 minus minus 8. Slope from D to C is y minus 2 over x minus 6. Now this gives us 10 over 2 minus means 10 over 10, right? This becomes 10 equals to y minus 2 over x minus 6. Correct? So we can equate separately y minus 2 as 10. So we get y minus 2 equals to 10, so y is equals to 12, and we have x minus 6 equals to 10, x equals to 16, and that gives us the coordinate points of point C as 16 and 12, right? So do you see this idea, right? So that's a brilliant idea. We could always write this as 16, 12. So coordinates of point C are 16, 12. So we just equated the numerators and the denominators and got our answer. Does make sense to you, right? So minus 8 to 2, right? So from minus 8, we are going to 2. That means 10 more. So 6 plus 10, right? And as far as the y values, they are also 10 more. So plus 10 gives us this result. Do you see that? Which is very clear. So that is how we actually find the solution. So we say that coordinates of point C are 16, 12. So I hope you find this interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.